Hi there, this is Mr. Chokia I'm an tutor for accounting, business studies, CMS, as well as research. If you're watching this, you're definitely in the right place. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your bottom right. And once you're done with that, you can definitely make sure that you share this lesson with your friends and also please don't forget to subscribe subscribing to our youtube channel is free you don't have to pay anything all you have to do is to sit down watch and you know let's make accounting easy for you so let's get into the lesson in today's lesson we're going to be looking at how to prepare the director's fees account i've seen that most learners are struggling with this adjustment it's like they don't know how to approach it once they see director's fees they panic and one of the things that i've noticed is that the way that they are presently asking us to deal with the director's fees adjustment is the simplest way we're just not paying attention so I thought you know what let me do this because i've seen most learners asking me to help them with this adjustment so i thought putting it on youtube will be helping the nation so let's get into the lesson now we are going to be doing an income statement that i've taken from one of the papers that was written in eastern cape it, it was actually i think their preparatory exam that was written uh, in september 2021 so if you want to also go through it on your own you can definitely download it on test papers the children's city and then you'll also be able to get the paper um the answer book as well as the memorandum so i think that's the easiest way of learning accounting please make use of these resources so let's get into the lesson now here the thing that the information relates to zo zozi pty ltd a stationary retailer for the year ended 28 february 2021 i always emphasize this to accounting students that whenever you deal with any adjustment or anything in accounting always ask yourself when does my financial year start and then from here we can see that our year is ending on 28 february 2021 which means it started on 1 march um 2020 okay so being able to identify this is very important it's going to help you it's going to help you to frame your adjustment in terms of how you should go about it so let's quickly go to that adjustment here they're saying we need to prepare the income statement 2.1 but i'm not going to do the income statement i'm just focusing on director's fees so let's go to adjustments so now on transaction number v uh, i forgot government again number man, but i think it should be number five so they're saying that the company employs three directors on the same fee structure meaning that from this sentence here what they're telling us is that these directors they're earning the same salary and then they're saying that one of the directors did not receive his fee for february 2021 so meaning that one of the directors did not earn his salary for um february 2021 remember here we are still speaking about those directors the three directors who are earning the same fee okay and they're saying that a fourth director appointed on 1 december 2020 earns 3200 per month more than the other directors so meaning that up up to here they now have four directors and they're saying that he received his fees for the current year so meaning that he already had his money for the current year and then we need to check when was this director's this that new director appointed he was appointed from the first of december so there's a easiest way of doing this but because learners have different uh, abilities of understanding we need to look at all cognitive levels i want this lesson to be able to also accommodate learners who maybe are having difficulties in accounting so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a timeline to help us to be able to do everything so we know that our year start on 1 march 2020 so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to start by drawing a timeline okay so i'm going to start in march so because we start in march so it's going to be march april may june july august september october november december and then january and then february and then we can then count how many months do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve then we start by looking at how many directors did we have before the current director came okay 
So now, from the information, they're telling us that the company employs three directors on the same fee structure, meaning that they were earning the same salary. And then they're saying that one of these directors did not receive his fee for February 2021. Okay. So now what we are going to do, we already know that each and every month we were supposed to uh, pay, um, we we're supposed to make uh, 12 payments for each direct. Okay. So which means this means to us that um, for those three directors, uh, remember every one of them gets 12, is supposed to get 12 payments. So you can see 12 for one director, 12 for one director, and then also two. A 11 for the other director because he did not receive his money for um for, for, for February. So which means we're going to say 12 plus 12 and then plus 11 and it will tell us how much those directors got. So let's do it. 12 plus 12 and then plus 11. Okay. So we're getting 35. So we've made 35 payments to these directors. So we can come here then we know what for those three directors we only made 35 payments right then we need to check for that new director for the new director what's happening guy and then when was he appointed now the new director according to the information here was appointed on 1 December 2020. But then this one, he earns 3,200 more than the other uh, the other three directors. So we're going to check when he was appointed. According to here, he was appointed here on 1 December. Right? He was appointed here. So which means the increase of his salary will affect um, these two months. Because remember, he was earning 3.2 more than the rest. Agar. And then this one, you know, he did receive his 12 payments. So we agree that, um, not 12, we agree that um, based on his appointment date, he received all the relevant uh, payments. So I'm going to go and erase that part of 12 because he was not there at the beginning. So please make sure that you pay attention. Don't do the silly mistake. So we started hiring him here. So which means that he received all his three payments, right? So he received three payments. So he received his three payments, right? Then which means that the amount that we are seeing there in the trial balance represented this 35 plus 3 and then 35 plus 3, it will be 36, 37, 38. All in all, we were supposed to make 39 payments. But here's what we need to remember. From that information, we need to check how much was actually paid to these directors that we have. And according to the trial balance director's fees, it's 450,400. So we're going to have that 450,400 here. Okay. Now, you need to be able to analyze your information in such a way that it makes your work easy. And then remember, we have that 3,200 for one, two, three, for three months. So what we must do, we must take it out so that we can get equal payments for all the directors and then add that payment. So we're going to say 3,200 multiply by three because that increase or that difference affect the three months. So 3,200 times three. Remember this one was paid normal. Um, he was not omitted. So 3,200 multiplied by three. It is giving us 9,600. So if we want to get how much they were equally earning, we would say um, we'll take that 450,500 uh, 450,400 and then we subtract this 9.6 here okay and then let's see how much it will give us so according to this um, 450,400 then we subtract that 9.6 we are left with 140,800. So we're going to be left here with 140,000. 
140,800. But we must remember that this 140,800 is equivalent to um, the 35, 36, 37, 32, the 38 payments that we made, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to say um, 440,800 and then we divide it by 38 and then it's going to tell us how much each director was earning equally, forgetting about that 3,200 increase, okay? So let's do it like that. 440,800 divided by 38 it is giving us 11,600 so which means that our director's fees has been um it's accrued by 11,600 so now in the income statement this is how you're going to present it in the income statement uh you're going to say in the income statement You're going to say, I'll try and just squeeze it here. You're going to say, under director's fees. Director's fees. You're going to say, um, 450,400. And then you say, plus the amount that was accrued. Remember that one of 3,200 received his normal salary. So we're not really going to and uh, need that 3.2 okay so you're going to take that um 550,400 and then you add it together with 11,600 and then it will give you the total that we were supposed to pay on director's fees so 11,600 we can say plus 450,400 and see how much is going to give us so we were supposed to pay 462,000 on director's fees and this is how you easily do it so please always make sure that you pay attention to the small details that you are given and most of the time a transaction like this will give you around three marks you'll get two marks for calculating this part and then a part mark for this this one mostly will not be given because uh, you have to work out this so this will be around three marks and three marks in your examination as an accounting student makes a difference so please do not lose uh, marks unnecessarily thank you for watching share this lesson with your friends may god richly bless you shalom